Governor Ron DeSantis's four school board picks have been sworn in. They are replacing four members the governor suspended last week. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Jim Barry. Some of the new board members will only serve a few months, but still vow to shake things up. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn is at the Broward County School Board. So Jacqueline, how was the atmosphere there this morning? You could say the atmosphere was a bit tense. As you know, the governor removed four women and replaced them with four men, all of whom who have GOP ties. But also, there was a bit of anticipation. How would these appointees do? Well, this was their first chance to introduce themselves to the public. I, Ryan Ryder, do solemnly swear. The swearing-in ceremony started promptly at 8.30 this morning, with the new appointees setting their focus on students and a new start. I'm honored and grateful the governor has entrusted me with the privilege and the real responsibility of serving the children, families, and taxpayers of Broward County. Shortly after, the board appointed Tori Alston as chair and Lori Aldeff as vice chair. Aldeff's daughter was killed in the Parkland shooting. I look forward to collaborating with my colleagues to bring back trust respect and accountability. Because the appointees are filling in elected seats, their time will be short with seats either up this November or within the next two years. I'm not closing my law firm to do this, so I'm just gonna be a busy period of time. Uh, but here, there's, there's a lot of challenges. Kevin Tynan, a former school board member and lawyer, says the grand jury report will provide a roadmap for security, but they're now also walking into budget season. How we spend our dollars is probably the most important thing we accomplish. Many Manuel Serrano, a former baseball player and business owner, tells us he will begin learning about new proposals immediately. Students and parents first, academic achievement, I'm going to keep repeating it, with real metrics, safety, we need to continue to address it and actually have action plans. Tori Alston is another businessman and a former Broward County Commissioner. He says we're in a crisis. As we look at the math, reading, and writing scores uh, for all different demographics, so we're in crisis. Uh, and you need a solid board who understands governing, who understands their role of oversight, and who knows their fiduciary responsibility. Ryan Ryder comes from a construction background and military service. He tells us he's hoping to help address infrastructure issues and support teachers. It's a really delicate balance and so this board is, is uh, going to work hard in doing that and we're going to you know, support them as much as we can. And I spoke with the Broward Teachers Union president and she told me while she didn't agree with the governor's decision she did come out here to listen to the appointees and she liked their message about focusing on the students and working with staff and teachers and so for now she is looking forward to getting to know them better. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.